Even though he's no longer an active farmer, Laurie Brownlee of Unity, Saskatchewan is still very much involved in the business. After his farming years, Brownlee also spent about 20 years as a trucker, which gave him plenty of ideas on how to make it easier for farmers like his neighbor Cliff Knowles to auger grain in and out of bins. One of his main areas of focus was coming up with an effective warning system, which is triggered when a bin is full. I always figured there had to be a better way than running up the bin to see when it was full. And uh, not only that, but the safety of running down a bin quickly when you want to shut it off is not really a good thing. So I just worked on that aspect of it. Brownlee came up with an invention called the Full Bin Super Sensor, which is attached to the auger spout. As soon as the grain comes up and tilts the sensor, it turns on a light and an alarm. Now the alarm is an option, it comes standard with the light, and you can add the alarm anytime you want. The box is already wired for that when you get it. It's all stainless steel inside, and as you see it's plastic on the outside, but it's a very, very tough plastic. It'll take a lot of banging around. Inside there, there's a stainless steel tube with a stainless steel pendulum hanging in the center. So as soon as that pendulum talk uh, contacts the outside, it just completes the circuit. It's very simple. As the grain piling up in the bin initially reaches the sensor, it'll come up and slide away a few times. This causes the alarm to turn on and off for a while before it stays on, giving you lots of time to turn off the auger. Brownlee sells the sensor kit for $699 and says installation should only take a few minutes. You just got to run the one wire down the, down the auger. The, uh, Light box is magnetic, so you stick that onto the metal on your auger, and then you got one wire going to the tractor for your 12 volt power. Just positive and negative, very simple hookup. Since augers are getting longer all the time, lining them up to fill a bin is becoming more and more difficult. In order to make this job easier and save time, Brownlee showed us a camera which mounts with a 260 pound pull magnet. It can be used on a flat or curved surface, making it well suited for auger tubes. The monitor fits in your tractor cap for easy viewing. The complete kit sells for $699 and is designed to be used day or night. It shows 32 feet in the dark, so when you're backing your auger up in the middle of the night, it lights the bin, top of the bin right up. You have no problem seeing where the opening is. Brownlee's latest innovation is called the hopper dropper, and he designed it to maximize efficiency when hauling grain out of hopper bottom bins. It allows farmers to open the bin chute wide open without the danger of spills or losses to the wind. It basically goes on the bottom of the, the bin and into your auger, and that way you can be assured that your auger is going to run at full capacity at all times, and you never have to worry about it running over or the wind blowing canola away in the wind or that sort of thing. The hopper dropper is made of UV resistant nylon, which means it can be left in the elements. Installation is a simple matter of snapping the 80 pound magnets to the bin. The unit is made for 6 to 10 inch augers and sells for $249.